This is Sandra. Hi, Sandra. My name is Chris. I was uh, in contact with Lucy. She told me you had a house you were interested in selling on Walsh. Yes. Hi, Chris. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? Wonderful. Yes, That's great. Did you have a few moments to talk about it? I do, yes. Great, great. So um, so what's the deal with this house? Is it uh, vacant or is it occupied? or? It's tenant occupied right now. It's one of my rentals and it's being managed by a property management company. She is moving out the end of March. Um, I bought it. It was one of the first rentals. I Not the first, but one of the first rentals I bought. I live in St. Charles County and I had some rentals out here and was starting to buy some in South City just because they're affordable and I love the neighborhoods and um, the other ones didn't work out, so I'm just trying to divert my business back to St. Charles and manage them all myself. So it's a great house on a great street, renovated, but it's 45 miles from where I live. And oh I wow, yeah, to, yeah, it's just I don't need one that far away. Um, and you're tired of paying so, that 10 percent to the uh, management company, huh? Yeah, and they've done a good job. I just yeah, I just want to put my money out here close to me. So That's it's smart. two bedrooms, one bath, about, I think it's 834 feet or 864 feet. I'd have to look on the record, but it feels bigger than that. It doesn't feel, you know, teeny tiny. Two bedrooms, one bath. Um, it uh, has a detached garage. It's large enough for two cars to fit, but there's only a, I think it's a nine foot door on it. So, you know, it's plenty Whoa. of storage. You get one car in there and plenty of storage. But it's got a whole new roof on the garage because um, you can see daylight through it when I bought it. <laughs> so it's got new oh, wow. you know, roofing and shingles, like the whole new roof is new. Um, and I'm having a new roof put on the house now. Um, I We kind of gambled when I bought it. The roofer looked at it and said, you know, it's getting kind of old, but if it's not leaking yet, just wait till you need a roof. Well, now we need a roof. So I am going to sell it with a brand new roof. They're starting on it next week. So when that's done, oh, wow. both buildings will have a whole new roof new siding, new windows. I, so I renovated a year and a half ago. So everything else was done fall of 2017. Windows, uh, siding, all exterior doors were replaced, um, new appliances, new furnace, new air conditioner. I never had an air conditioner. I had a window unit, so I installed central air. Oh, wow. You went all yeah. out, huh? Yeah. Can you hold on one second? My son's sure, calling sure. on the other line. Sure. Are you there? I'm here. Hello. Sorry, it was my yeah. my son. Um, I, God bless them when they're 16 and they call to check in on with you. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, at least, at least yeah. Somebody's watching. <laughs> yeah. So I was going through the list. Let's see. All the exterior, <laughs> siding, windows, doors, furnace, air conditioner, um, new kitchen appliances, new vanity in the bath, new toilet, updated the electric and plumbing, um, had the sewer line scoped. We cleaned out a few little fiber sea roots, but there was no cracks or breaks in the line. Um, the city poured a new sidewalk out front a couple of years ago. Um, gosh, I know I'm forgetting stuff. Oh, new patio. Is new there any repairs there. that are still needed? The roof, that and I'm having that done. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I'm aware of. Now, a tenant's moving out, so I would expect now, I was in there a couple of weeks ago. She has not torn the place up. It actually looks really good. But just the little things, like oh, one outlet. Yeah, yeah, I hadn't been in there. Um, I don't know how long she's been there. I don't remember. I've lost track. A year, year and a half. Um, there's a couple of little things. Um, one door has a hole in it. You know, like they cracked the door, smashed it, either patch it or replace one of the six-panel doors inside. Um, That's not torn there. The place. I know. But really, I was expecting much worse, you know, like just – <laughs> yeah. clean and there's, that was really the only thing I saw that was broken you know so um, yeah we just bought one and the, and the bathtub was totally black it was white when we moved them in there and oh or when God. the tenant moved in and now it's black and I'm like do we need to replace this or what I mean it's so bad cleaning it is not even an option <laughs> well how do they do that was it cleaning car parts in the tub or what you know like I, how do you... I'm like who's sitting in that I don't know <laughs> Sure. Well, that's part of the game, I guess. You know, you see things that most people are like, how did you overcome that? I don't know. We just solved it. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, yeah. But literally so, um, everything in the house has been replaced except for the kitchen cabinets. We did paint them. Yeah. But because um, I listed this for sale a couple years ago, and I um, I was trying to sell it for 70 
um, which I think, you know, is a little high for the ARV, but it wasn't out of, you know, I did comp it. I'm an agent too, but it doesn't have a basement. It's on a crawl space and everything, there was like 12 other houses for sale at that time. Because the area is really kind of coming up and it's a good area, but there's been a lot of flips and stuff and everything else had a basement. So I just couldn't compete with that. So I finally just took it off the market and kept it as rental. That was my original plan. So I have this really nice over-improved rental now. Um, Oh, wow. <laughs> but but um, I can send you some pictures, and I was going to tell you something else. I forgot what it was. I'm asking 58 or best offer right now. I'm just starting to kind of get the word out that it's going to go for sale. If it doesn't sell by the time she moves out, I'll put it on the market. But I'd rather, you know, a local investor get it because it's a good little house. Oh, I started to tell you about the kitchen cabinets. The comps, nobody has, a, you know, new cabinets in granite in that price point. I checked, so. We just painted them and put new fixtures on them. And oh wow, you made this place beautiful, huh? I know, because I was trying to sell it, but it's just—it's a great rental, and there's not as many. What are they paying for rent there? Eight hundred, but I think you could get eight twenty-five or eight fifty. I really do, especially with the garage and all the storage, and there's a yard, and I mean, I even put a new back patio and porch on the building. So wow, um, yeah. I, so I'm really just breaking even stuff. on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really just breaking even just to move my money out closer to home. So. Do you still owe something on it? No, it's paid for. Oh, okay, well that's a good thing. At least you don't have somebody breathing down your back. Because sometimes we get those where right. they have a hard money loan or something silly going on. And I'm like, ooh, you no. need to hurry up. So. No. Okay, and I, then. Uh, paid for. And then so when they move out, it's really going to be, you know, minor stuff to do. Okay, so that sounds like good. It's good there. Uh, So basically what we do is we buy houses, you know, generally for cash in any condition all over St. Louis. Most of them are in South City or South County. We're based out of Mm -hmm. South County. So actually this would be right pretty close to us. It's manageable Mm -hmm. more than, would you say, 45 miles or whatever you say you're from. Yeah. It it would be something more manageable for us. Mm -hmm. And so as far as a a cash price, uh, you said you wanted 58000 for it. Yeah. Um, is that the best you can do? Yeah, yeah, because I'm not a highly motivated seller. I can't keep it. So, but that's below right. market. I think I think market right now solidly on that one is 65. Okay. And since I'm going to have a new roof and everything else is going to be new, it's not a wholesale deal. I'm a wholesaler too. You know, it, this is not a wholesale price. It's turnkey. Um, right, right. Renovated, and so. Would you consider selling it on terms, like taking payments for it, if we took full responsibility of the maintenance and repairs of the house and just made payments straight to you and you didn't have to do anything with it? Um, I might. They'd have to be really good terms because, I, honestly, I want to turn the cash over into another rental. So if I'm just getting payments, that's um, – but I'd consider it. Okay. And so um, let's see here. Well, we could definitely do you, something like that what's your you know, name again? as well. My name is Chris, Chris Monroe with St. Louis Cash Buyers. Okay. And so, um, you know, as far as um, terms, if uh, if we could work out something like that, um, what's the least you could have taken as a down payment? Oh, probably higher than what you want to give because, like I said, I, I really just want to take the cash and put it into a rental out here. Um <sighs> I mean, I do what you guys do, because um, you guys would be looking for a, a tenant, an owner occupant, right? Like a lease we have tenants ready to move in. Mm-hmm. They'd be moving in as yeah. fast as that person's moving out. We move that quick, so it would be no yeah. problem moving it along and making it where you don't have to deal with the house, and uh, you know you have a passive cash flow still waiting where you don't have to deal with this house or manage it or pay a property manager or do any of that stuff and still make money. You know while you're waiting. Yeah. You know, for, yeah. Because we I mean, would eventually want to get them. Yeah. yeah. So it would have to be a pretty generous cash offer because I mean I could do that myself. I, I really just would rather take the lump sum, all of it. Um, I mean, I could do the sandwich lease option too. Um, right, I don't know. Right. I just you think know, about that. An yeah, because yeah, we, we we deal with properties in South City and South County, so it's easier for us to reach and deal with and manage and you know oh, right, play real right. estate games with versus you know being all the way out of St. Charles. Well, so and my plan was buy a bunch down there and have a bunch here and just have kind of two main areas I worked out of, but the other two right. I had. Um, I got great cash offers for them, so I just sold them, and, you know, I just – I'm refocusing out here. 
Um, I don't think I want to do that. I mean, I appreciate it because I could do that myself. You know, I mean, I'd, right, right. I'd really take rather take the 58, you know, ish amount and um, buy a rental, pay for a rental. Right, right. So, or pay so a cash rental. offer doesn't seem like a bad thing. I mean, it seems like it's a good deal. Do you know what it would appraise for? Um, we didn't get as far as the appraisal. Um, I because when I did sell it, I had an offer on it. Um, that fell through. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm an agent. I, I sure you. I'm sure you guys have at least one agent you work with. Um, Three of. I, mean, I think the ARV <laughs> on it. Yeah, I know. I've met some people on your team. I'm trying to think. Who are some of the other guys that work with you guys? St. Louis Cash oh, Buyers. I know I've run it. Uh, yeah, well, we we just use other agents that are in other companies. We don't really have agents. No, I mean, I mean that St. Louis Cash Buyers. Cause I know I've met. I met somebody else one time at one of the RIAs. I don't think it was you. I don't remember. Um, you said it's a praise for probably, I mean, oh, what do you think? Um, about I think 80 the ARV is barely, well, it might appraise higher. I think the ARV is 65. Like if I were going to list it, that's what I'd list it for this time. Um, but you can look at the comps, you know, and see what else is sold. I mean, on that street, they've sold anywhere from 20 to 100. You know, it just depends on the, the size and the condition because, a, a few holes. It's a good street to wholesale on. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know what it would appraise for. I mean, I, when I talked to my banker about refinancing it when I first purchased it, he was going to pay me. I can, I can reverse the cash back out. Here, let me get my calculator here. Hold on. He was going to do 70% loan to value and he was going to cash me out, give me refinance for, for 48. So 48. Is seventy percent of what number? Hold on, let me reverse that. Sixty-eight thousand. So oh, okay. two years so ago, my banker. Yeah, that's what my oh, that's banker was going to do. But I even that, at that, I'm like, well, I, I think I can get more than forty-eight thousand for it. And then I don't own it anymore, and I can just move my money out here. Exactly. So, yeah, we would pay more than yeah. that for cash. Um. You know, I mean, I did a little, little bit of research on it. I mean, so if we were to pay the closing costs and, you know, close it up pretty quickly, I um, mean, what, what would you really take for it? Your name's Chris? Yes. Is that what you said? Yeah. You're good. Because <laughs> I, I do what you guys well, do. Well, I want to buy the house. Um, I want to solve a problem. And, you know, know we want, we buy, we're buying all over in that area. So, you know, there's I no know. reason to it's a put it on the MLS area. and play that game when you got a buyer yeah. ready to go right here. <laughs> I know. I had a really cute one we did on Germania. I loved it, like a brick bungalow. Oh, this, it turned out so great. I was I wanted to move into it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem we run into, huh? I know. It's a great area. I, I really i am going to stay firm with seven, 58 right now. Um, I've got so much interest, and I know if I put on the MLS, I could sell it for more than that. Um, and, you know, I don't even have to pay myself commission. Right, so right. 58 is my so, number I mean, right now. <laughs> Yeah, because we would pay cash for it and, you know, pay the closing costs. You don't have any fees or anything. You know, whatever number we settle on, that's your walk away from the deal, mm-hmm. take home amount. So you don't have to worry about, you know, anything from that point. We pay cash mm-hmm. and close fast. So it's, it's really, you know. Well, I'm putting a roof on it next week. Um, and I want to do that, you know, for my tenant and just I I want to sell it in good shape for somebody. So I'm getting ready to put, you know, 4000 more into it. So I just I can't take less than that out. I don't want to walk away with less than I have in it. Um, right, right. So if you guys, you know, find that 58 will work for you. I mean, if if the bank's saying they, you know, they're considering the appraisal value at 68 and it's totally all new with a new roof and everything for 58, I think that's a good value for somebody. It's probably not a wholesale price. You know, I mean, it's a. Yeah, it's a good deal. It's a good discount deal. I mean, I, I believe it's a good deal. You know, but we have to, we're in the game to make money. You know how it is. We would, uh, know. you know, either probably just hold it, you know, but we just try to make a good deal. Do you have any other properties you're looking to sell anytime soon? No, I've been buying more than I've been selling. Um, I don't. Oh, you need but to be I, added to the buyer's list on deals we come across in St. Charles. Yeah, we don't please, hold those. Up please there. do. That would be great. <laughs> and I know I have a new postcard campaign. I'm starting myself in two weeks. So oh, wow. uh, I get to drum up some of my own new wholesale deals. They sell so fast, you know, I just, yeah. and I, I end up keeping about half of them. And renovate them or rent them out. So yeah, I don't have that many because I um, they don't they don't last long, which is good. Yeah. 
Well, Chris, mm-hmm. I appreciate it. I mean, I really do. And and check back with me, but I do what you guys do, and I'm not a motivated seller. I just right, right. And so I, I also mean, I want really to do reiterate like, what I was saying on that terms part. I wasn't talking about a sandwich lease option. I was talking about actually buying it, and you just own a finance, and we actually close on the house and buy it. And uh, you know, we, like I said, we would pay the closing costs either way in a cash deal or a terms deal. And uh, mm-hmm. you know, we would move it into the inventory and get it put back out on the market and put somebody else in it. As soon as yeah. that person's out, we already got like 20 people on the list waiting for over there. So somebody would be glad nice. to take it. <laughs> it is a great, it is great. I mean, we had no problem getting it rented out. And for 800 I think it's a great price for 800 Rent-o-meter yeah. was a little higher than that. It fluctuates a little bit. But I always go high, especially if it's totally renovated and there's a garage with a garage door and it's a secure neighborhood. You know, and this this house, my back alley to the garage is the end spot, you know, like it's at the end of the alley. So it's not a through alley. Oh, wow. So I'm, yeah, I mean, it really is pretty primo for that area. Yeah. Rental um, meter has a few over there for a, a thousand or 1100. What is it? 1095. <laughs> Another one on Dewey. Yeah. I'm looking at rental mm-hmm. meter right now. So yeah. I mean, it, it probably yeah. could bump up the rent a little but you know, like I said, we don't know. We just put them, put it on, let the market tell us what they'll give us for it. And we try yeah. to get as much as we can, you know, we try to make it a fair deal for everybody. That's really the right. whole thing here. We want to make a win-win situation for everybody involved. That's all it is. It's not trying to be greedy or anything. So. No, I understand. Um, that. If you want to email me your terms and I'll take a look at it. Um, but at this point, I've got three people that are interested, and um, I, I don't want to let anybody in until I have at least a um, a contract contingent on, you know, walk through an inspection. I don't want to disturb the tenants ask not to be disturbed. So I can get you um, a contract today. That's easy for me. No. <laughs> you give me one for fifty-eight. You can have it. Ah, look at you. See, so you're good. I'm going to study from you. <laughs> I'll give you my email. Okay, at Outlook.com. We got you there. And so uh, as far as the terms, uh, what what, was, what would be the least you would take on a monthly payment if we could do something like that? Um, or you wouldn't okay. have to deal with any other maintenance or repairs or anything to deal with that house, yeah. just collecting a check. Yeah. Um, I, I, I really do just want the lump sum payment. I really don't want monthly, so I don't even know. Yeah. Okay. I mean, honestly, I just because I do what you guys do. I know I can sell it for cash and or on the MLS and get paid all at once and not right, right. Because I just want to turn the money over into something else. I'm trying to get to where I'm not financing everything, you know. So I'm paying cash for right. you that I. Well, own, that's the you thing. Know. You become the bank. See, that's why I say yeah. something like this would be better because you're just collecting checks. You don't have to do anything but say, "Oh, another mm-hmm. check came today." You know, yeah. and, and we're we're good tenants. We're not like a regular tenant. We would actually just pay you and deal with all the problems mm-hmm. of the house, whatever comes up. And you don't have to get a call from us for anything yeah. other than, oh yeah, somebody we're cashing you out next month. Are you ready to receive the rest of your money? That's the only call right. you'll be getting from us. <laughs> so well, other than that, I guess um, if I had to give you a number, I'd say six hundred. But that's totally shot in the dark and not what I want to do at all. So just full transparency, I, just so you know that. And I and I appreciate that. And that's all I ask this person. You know, I want to make it a win win for everybody. So I'll formulate something here and I'll shoot you an email and uh, see what we can come up with to make it a you know, a good deal for you and a good deal for us where you don't have to worry about that house and get you some money in pocket and everybody's happy. That's the plan, right? Love it. Yes. All, all right. right. Well so, thanks a lot, uh, Chris. I appreciate it. Thank you. You have a good rest of your weekend. You too. Thanks. Bye. All right, bye bye.